This is day six and uh, first time having tacos. First time having tacos, but somebody knows how to talk about them. <laughs> he knows how to talk about tacos. Yes. Don't worry guys, because today's gonna be nacho average day. <laughs> that was pretty cheesy. <laughs> In case so you have any problems. JP, if you stay down, I'm probably gonna torque kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Mole. <laughs> are you just saying we're close? Yeah, right now we are walking to a famous market in Mexico City. We got an actual guide with us. And if any of y'all in the comments say what we're eating is inauthentic, then we'll just blame Abdel for it. <laughs> no, just this is the market I, I was telling you about. It's the, the one that you can find almost all the Mexican ingredients here. You can find ants, scorpions, insects. It's a bug's life. <laughs> Not really. That's just, this is where the bugs come to be eaten. This is one of the best coffee shops. Should we try one? Yeah, please. If you like coffee, yeah, yeah. he's the man. It's strong. This is not your average espresso. Ooh, yeah, that'll wake you up. That's gonna wake me up. Oh, look, liver. Is that that's shrimp? Yes. What? You want to try some chiles? Oh, no. People eat this? Yes. It's really scary. <laughs> no. Just kidding, I'm not gonna eat that. Alex is very adventurous. He's going to try some chicken feet. I'm really uh, kind of on the fence. Uh, it is a foot of a chicken. Ew! <laughs> Wait, Julia, aren't you gonna try it? No, I don't wanna eat a foot. Just, just suck on it. Just suck on a foot. Okay, I'm just gonna have some corn as like a little, uh, you know, just a prep for it. Yeah. Okay, eat the foot. Oh, yum. It didn't have a bad flavor, it's just so weird. It's just very flushy. We're gonna all do a tapas, which is a small dish. I guess this is one of the most famous spots in the market. Is that cheese? Manchego, pesto, and baby sheep. This is the manchego. Manchego is kind of like a little sharp. Oh, that's my kind of cheese. Is this the baby sheep one? Baby sheep. All right, the verdict's in, all this cheese is good. Seriously, we're gonna be eating a lot of food today, once again. Too much. We endure the pain after we eat it. Yeah, seriously. We just poop all night. Julia, we're gonna show you authentic Mexican tacos. This is barbacoa. They take the meat, they put it in a hole, they cover it with uh, agave leaves, and leave it to cook for eight hours or more. So it's kind of a brisket. This is a rolled beef taco. Ooh, I heard that crunch. And moro churros. Masita. This reminds me of fried dough. You know, when you go to a fair or something like that. Oh, and it's so huge. Mmm, mmm, so good. Yeah. So this is a, a traditional thing to do here. You get the uh, Mexican hot chocolate, you dip your churro in it, and then you shove it in your mouth. Oh, elevation and food. And Julia, just for, for fun, red velvet churro. Better. All right, we found a Tacos de Canasta. Oh, it is packed in there. Look at that. You can't even see in there. Seven pesos for a taco here. I'm not very good at math, so you guys do the math. Okay. He wants to go in the photo with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, provecho. We say provecho to say, hey, have a great meal. Provecho. You are getting better with the R's. Arr. Arr. Can you say ferrocarril? What does that mean? Uh, train. Ferro Karim. Okay, you are getting better. Yes. Oh, getting better. That's a lot in there. You see that? These remind me of the Jack in the Box tacos. Did you see how they served you? That was so quick. And here's a bunch of authentic Mexican Coca-Cola. So this is a bean. Wow, look at it. Mmm. Potatoes also a big thing in Mexico. Mmm. This is really good potato. With just a amount of money, a small amount of money you can eat and you have the necessary calories for the day, for your work. Wow, that is so incredible. On top of that, like this food is incredible for its price, its value. Much respect. A lot of you guys wanted us to try chilaquiles, but we're gonna one-up that a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna make it. All right, Nicole. So we got our meat, we got our cheese, we got our produce. I think we have everything now, so we're gonna be heading back on the metro to Nicole and Ricardo's house to cook. So we're making several things. We're making chilupitas, chilaquiles, and fried plantains with Jamaica water for dessert. It's the first time I'm cooking in Mexico. I definitely want to represent my, my brand. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's not about the size of the knife, it's about how you use the knife. Right guys? Right? <laughs> right guys? Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my goodness. You really did bring so much to this video to show us what authentic Mexican food is. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thank you, Thank you for spreading the word about Mexican City cuisine because it's more than Tex-Mex. That's what we really want to communicate. See you. All right, we just left our authentic Mexican cooking segment. Where to next? We are going back and getting cleaned up because Alex bought tickets for us to go see a ballet. Yeah, for real. We're gonna see a Mexican ballet. Take my hand. Come to the ballet. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the ballet.